Welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to talk about the slope of a line. Now, this is just an introduction, but I've been talking a lot about the slope in the last few videos. So you probably have a good indication about what the slope means, but we're going to talk all about it. I promise that I would. And so we're going to talk all about what the slope is. So let's take a look at some lines here and start to kind of realize what the slope does for us and how the slope uh, affects how a line looks. So I've given you five lines here. I've given you three diagonal lines, one vertical, and one horizontal line. All the lines are different. These two are climbing, but they're clearly climbing differently. Climbing means as we move from the left to the right, our graph is going up. This line is falling as we move from the left to the right, our, our line is, is decreasing or going down. That's a purely vertical line. That's a purely horizontal line. And all of them have a different way that they're climbing or falling. The slope describes the way that a line is climbing or falling as we move from left to right. Now that's a big part. So we have to realize that when we talk about climbing or falling, that's increasing or decreasing. When we talk about the slope, it is always the connotation as if we're reading a book from left to right. So we're always going to consider reading a graph as we move from left to right. So this, this line is climbing. We're going to talk about the slope of that. This line is also climbing, but less steep. We'll talk about the slope of that. This line is falling or decreasing as you move from left to right. This line is, whoa, what's that doing? We'll talk about this one. A weird idea. Is it climbing? Is it falling? Are we even moving from left to right? That's a weird question. Is this line climbing or falling as you move from left to right? It's moving left to right, but it's not doing either. We'll talk about the slope. The slope describes the situation in all of these lines as how the graph climbs or falls as we move from left to right. That's the first thing we need to realize. And I'm gonna write a little bit right here. So the slope describes how a line climbs or falls, and we'll talk about what that is also interpreted as. But you have to be aware that this is always as we read from left to right. Now, one other thing that we call the slope, and this happens especially as we get on to like the calculus level, or a lot of word problems, consider this. If the slope tells us how we climb, or how we fall, or if we climb or fall, that's called the rate of change. So the rate at which our line is changing, is it changing a lot as we move from left to right? Is it decreasing a lot as we move from left to right? Is it, is it not? Is it only barely increasing or barely decreasing? That's the rate at which our line is, is changing. So the slope is also called the rate of change. So that's two things. If you hear the slope or you hear rate of change, it, it means the same thing. So get used to using those as synonyms for each other. Now, there's a very specific way that we like to identify slope. So yeah, slope is just the change as we go from left to right. Are we climbing? Are we falling? Are we staying the same? That's what the slope does. It's the rate of change. Uh, but the way that we describe it never changes. So the slope, how we define that, is a comparison of vertical movement compared to horizontal movement to the right. Now, why is it always to the right? I've said that a few times. Why is it always to the right? Well, that's how we read graphs. We don't read graphs from left from right to left. We always read from left to right. And so when we're considering the comparison of what are graphs doing vertically to what are graphs doing horizontally, and that's, that's a ratio. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers. When we're comparing vertical motion with horizontal motion, that horizontal motion is always considered going to the right. That is why we read a graph from left to, well, the reason why is because we read a graph from left to right. So a slope is a ratio of this idea of rise, the vertical movement, compared to run the horizontal movement to the right. I'm gonna just define those in a little bit. The most important thing I can get you to get right now is, man, slope compares up and down with going to the right. It's not left, always to the right. So slope is a ratio of what we call rise over run. I know it's a fraction, uh, but we have to have a fraction here. Every single slope is a fraction, even if you have a whole number. Remember, we can put that over one and get ourselves a fraction. That fraction gives us a way to do two movements in one, a way to go up and down, and then a way to go to the right. That's why we have to have the ratio. We can't just call it a single number, because then we'd only be able to either move up or down 
or to the right. Uh, we have to have both numbers, hence the necessity for a fraction. So slopes of ratio of rise or run, which, which well, actually gives us our first formula. Slope always equals rise over run. That, that's, that's really, really all it is. What the rise is, if you haven't got that yet uh, from this video from the last ones, the rise is how much vertical movement we get, just considering the y motion. So uh, imagine from here to here. Well, the vertical movement would be the height and the y-axis here to the height and the y-axis here. The, so the slope breaks it down. The slope compares how much you're going up, straight up from point to point, and then how much you're going to the right from point to point. So basically, and I hope this makes sense, because we're on a rectangular coordinate system, we don't really get to go like this without considering how much we're going up and over, like, like a knight in, in chess. Uh, that, that's what's happening. We're basically making these L-shaped moves, how much we're going up and how much we're going to the right. So when we talk about slope, it's always two numbers. It's always from left to right, and the rise is simply the, the vertical component of that, how much you would climb or fall on the y-axis. That's the idea of what, y, or what's, what rise does. It looks at the y movement. That's it. So rise, I'll write this out for you if you guys need it. Um, rise is how much vertical change, how much vertical change occurs from point to point on your line as we move from left to right. So let's write that down and then I'll, uh, I'll say just a blurb about that. How much vertical change? So that's the y-axis idea. Y-axis is the vertical axis, so how much will change along the y? How much vertical change occurs from one point to the next on our line. Now I'm not going to write this, uh, this again, but this connotation of vertical change from one point to the next it assumes that we are moving from left to right because that's what slope assumes already. So I'm not going to write that, but you, you do need to know it. So if we're doing this, our vertical change is positive. If we're going up from left to right, that would be a positive slope. That line for sure has a positive slope. Our y is increasing, going from here to here. As we go from point to point, our y is a positive number, increasing. Um, here, we also get positive number as we go from point to point, so positive slope, positive rise, positive change in the y, but it's less than that because we're, we're less steep. We have less positive change as we go from left to right. So rise says how much vertical cha change we get from point to point, basically. Um, we're always going from left to right. If we are positive, that, that means that we've gone up. If we're negative, that means that we're, we're dropping. So a line decreasing is going to have a negative slope. So we say positive for change that's positive for that's climbing and negative for change that's falling. So our rise here would be positive, positive, negative. These two we talk about in a little while. So that, that's the rundown for what rise does. Uh, what the run does, run's easier. The run does not have any different signs. Run is always positive. And the reason why run is always positive is we're moving to the right, always. There's no backwards, there's only to the right. We're only reading from left to right. So if it's only considering left to right. So the, the thing, the component of our slope that houses our positive or our negative, that tells us a positive slope or a negative slope, that tells us increasing or decreasing, rising or falling, that's the rise component. The run is always positive if you're going to do it correctly. Now, there's ways to deal with, uh, with slope differently, but the way to always get it right all the time is to really understand what slope does. Slope reads from left to right. The rise is the only thing that could be positive or negative 
the run, since we're always going to the right, always increasing, because from left to right, we're on number line, we're on the x-axis, we're going negative to positives to infinity, we're always getting bigger and bigger, we're always increasing. So that's always a positive component. So run is how much horizontal change we get as we go from point to point, that's along the x-axis. So how much horizontal change we get from point to point, as we, we said earlier, but it's always positive. No matter what. That's really the, uh, the, the only idea here. So a, a short recap of what the slope is, and then we get into how to actually find the formula. So the next video we'll talk about the slope formula, uh, where it comes from, why we even, we, we, we even have it. So the big things to get out of this, slope describes the how the line is climbing or how the line is falling. Slopes that rise from left to right have a positive component to that rise. That component is what creates the positive slope. We have a positive slope for those two lines. The negative component of your rise is what gives you a negative slope. So uh, the slope compares the climb or the fall, or describes the climb or the fall of the line. Lines climbing have positive slope, lines falling have negative slope. The reason why is because slope is always a ratio. It's always rise over run. It's always how we're moving up or down. If we're moving up as we go from left to right, we have positive rise. If we're moving down as we go from left to right, we have negative rise. The run, the, the, the denominator here, is always positive. We're always moving to the right, always increasing as we're going to the right. Therefore, this number is the only one that can be positive or negative. Up, you get positive. Positive divided by positive is a positive slope. Down, you get negative. Negative divided by a positive, that cannot be a negative, gives you negative slope. That's what describes the, our line. So I hope you have a just a, a better feeling about what slope is, what we're going to be talking about throughout the course of the rest of graphing lines, like forever. Um, the next video, we're going to talk about the slope formula, and I will we'll create it. So we'll, we'll discover what the slope formula is. I hope this made sense, and I'll see you for creating the slope formula.